Chronic kidney disease affects 8 to 16% of the population, with approximately 850 million affected people worldwide. The big issue? Kidney disease does not tend to cause severe symptoms when it's at an early stage. However, there are certain signs that indicate early kidney damage, which we are going to discuss in this video. An early detection of kidney problems is essential to prevent further complications and to control them at an early stage. So let's have a look at the most common symptoms you shouldn't ignore or confuse for symptoms of less severe conditions. Number one, changes in taste. A persistent metallic taste in your mouth could be a sign of kidney damage. When kidneys are compromised, they may struggle to filter waste products effectively. Urea, a waste product normally excreted through urine, can accumulate in the blood when kidneys aren't functioning optimally. This buildup can lead to uremia, a condition associated with a metallic taste in the mouth. This altered metallic taste is medically known as dysgeusia. Additionally, altered taste perception and increased levels of toxins in the bloodstream contribute to this phenomenon. According to a 2017 study, this symptom occurs in around 35% of all people with kidney disease. Another study showed that 29% even experience a complete loss of taste. Number two, changes in fingernails. Alterations in the appearance of your fingernails may also signal kidney issues. Kidneys are vital for maintaining a balance of minerals in the body. When kidneys are compromised, disruptions in this balance can occur, affecting the health of nails. Discoloration or changes in texture may result from poor blood circulation, a common consequence of kidney dysfunction. Additionally, imbalances in calcium and other minerals regulated by the kidneys can impact the structural integrity of nails. You might notice the following changes. A white color on the upper part of one or more nails and a normal to reddish brown color below, sometimes called half and half nails, very pale nails, or white bands running across one or more nails. According to research, nail changes are quite common in chronic kidney disease. Number three, itchy and dry skin. Healthy kidneys filter waste products from the blood, maintaining a balanced environment. When kidneys falter, toxins accumulate, leading to skin issues. The dryness and itchiness result from a buildup of waste products in the bloodstream affecting skin health. Additionally, you may see the appearance of fish-like scales on your skin. These can be attributed to imbalances in phosphorus and calcium levels, substances the kidneys normally regulate. According to research, uremic pruritus, the medical term for this symptom, occurs in more than half of all patients and is characterized as a daily experience of itch. Symptom number four, calcium deposits under the skin and joint pain. Kidneys play a pivotal role in regulating calcium levels in the body. When your kidneys aren't working properly, there can be an imbalance in calcium metabolism. This imbalance may lead to the deposition of calcium in soft tissues, resulting in visible lumps or nodules under the skin. These deposits can contribute to discomfort and affect the skin's texture. Calcium deposits usually develop around a joint and are not painful. However, when they occur within a fingertip, they can cause a great deal of pain. If one of these deposits pushes up through the skin, you may see a chalky discharge. But calcium deposits due to kidney failure are rather rare and a sign of severe kidney problems. Bone and joint pain, on the other hand, are among the most prevalent symptoms in early stages of kidney disease. Early detection is crucial in that case to prevent those calcium deposits. Number five, skin changes. Your skin serves as the mirror of underlying systemic problems. Various skin changes, including discoloration, rashes, or unusual pigmentation, may signify underlying kidney issues. A scientific review from 2021 emphasizes that skin changes can be observed from the beginning of renal impairment until the evolution to the terminal stage. But why does your skin change when your kidneys are failing? Because they play a pivotal role in filtering waste and maintaining fluid and electrolyte balance. When kidneys are impaired, toxins can accumulate in your blood affecting the skin's appearance. Discoloration may result from compromised blood flow, while rashes can be a manifestation of the body's attempt to eliminate toxins. Unusual pigmentation may indicate imbalances in minerals that kidneys typically regulate. You may see any of the following changes to your skin. An unhealthy pale color, gray hue, yellowish color, areas of darkened skin, dark colored rashes, blisters on hands, face and feet, yellowish, thick skin with bumps and deep lines, or cysts and spots that look like whiteheads. The last two develop when you've had itchy skin for a long time and scratch often. Number six, fatigue and weakness. Healthy kidneys produce erythropoietin, 
a hormone crucial for red blood cell production. When kidneys are compromised, erythropoietin production may decrease, leading to a decline in red blood cell levels. This reduction in oxygen-carrying capacity can result in fatigue and weakness, usually accompanied by pale skin. Additionally, the accumulation of waste products in the bloodstream due to impaired filtration can contribute to overall feelings of lethargy. According to a recent study, fatigue is reported by 70% of patients with chronic kidney disease. Number 7. Swelling in the ankles, feet, hands, or puffiness around the eyes, known as edema, can be a visible manifestation of kidney damage. Healthy kidneys regulate the body's fluid balance, ensuring excess fluid is excreted through urine. When kidneys are impaired, they may struggle to eliminate fluid efficiently, leading to fluid retention and swelling. Edema occurs when excess fluid builds up in the tissues, causing noticeable puffiness. Recognizing these signs of fluid retention is crucial, as they can indicate compromised kidney function, especially since edema is a common symptom for kidney problems, according to a recent study. Number 8. Excessive Thirst The kidneys play a key role in regulating fluid balance in the body. When kidney function declines, they may struggle to concentrate urine properly, leading to increased fluid loss through urine according to academic literature. As a result, the body signals an increased need for fluids, manifesting as persistent and excessive thirst. Your kidneys pretty much force you by thirst to drink more water to cover the loss caused by urine excretion. Number 9. Unexplained Weight Loss Unexplained weight loss, particularly when accompanied by nausea and vomiting, can be linked to kidney damage. Unintentional weight loss or reduction in weight of 5% or more over 3 months or 10% or more over 6 months are suggested as indicators of a wasting syndrome called cachexia in academic literature. But why does this happen? When kidneys are impaired, waste products can accumulate, leading to nausea and vomiting. Moreover, compromised kidney functions lead to inflammation, metabolic changes, and the buildup of appetite-suppressing hormones, further accelerating weight loss. The body may also break down muscle tissue for energy, further impacting weight. Some individuals with kidney disease may also experience unusual thinness in certain body areas, such as muscles or fat tissue. If you notice that you're losing weight without trying, talk to your doctor right away. Number 10. Heart palpitations and muscle cramps. Electrolyte imbalances, including potassium and calcium, regulated by the kidneys, may occur when their function is compromised. These imbalances can lead to irregular heartbeats or palpitations, according to research. Additionally, the altered balance of minerals can contribute to muscle cramps. Potassium, in particular, plays a crucial role in muscle function, and its disruption can lead to spasms and cramping. In scientific literature, muscle cramps are considered highly prevalent symptoms in patients with advanced kidney disease. Symptom number 11. The presence of an ammonia-like odor on the breath can be associated with kidney damage. When kidneys are impaired, they may struggle to filter and remove waste products efficiently, leading to a buildup of urea in the bloodstream. Urea is converted into ammonia, which can then be exhaled, resulting in an unusual breath odor. Ammonia has a strong odor that smells like urine or sweat. This ammonia breath may be more pronounced in advanced stages of kidney disease when urea levels are significantly elevated. Recognizing this distinctive odor is important, as it may signify underlying kidney issues. Number 12. Also, abnormal urination patterns can indicate kidney damage. Kidneys play a crucial role in filtering waste products and excess fluids from the blood, forming urine. When kidneys are compromised, changes in urination may occur. According to research, this can manifest as increased frequency, especially at night, pain or difficulty during urination, and alterations in urine color or consistency such as foamy, bubbly, or very dark urine. Protein may also leak into the urine, a condition known as albuminuria. In this case, the protein albumin can be found in your blood because it is not properly filtered by the kidneys. Number 13. Confusion and Brain Fog In scientific literature, kidney disease was clearly associated with cognitive impairment. Chronic kidney disease can lead to confusion and brain fog due to complex interactions between the kidneys and the nervous system. When your kidneys are damaged, electrolyte imbalances can occur, affecting brain function. Elevated levels of toxins in the bloodstream due to impaired filtration can also impact cognitive function, leading to confusion and difficulty concentrating. Additionally, anemia, a common complication of kidney disease, can reduce oxygen supply to the brain, contributing to cognitive issues. Overall, compromised kidneys negatively influence both the brain and nervous system, leading to cognitive issues. 
But how can you avoid kidney disease? Since kidney disease is not curable, it is best to prevent it in the first place. Besides looking out for the discussed symptoms in this video and getting an early consultation with your doctor, there's more you can do. Tip number one, keep your blood pressure in check. Dr. Peter Adia has the following to say about that. Um, the kidney is so sensitive to blood pressure. This is a tiny organ that on every pump of your heart is getting 20 to 25% of your blood. Wow. So just imagine how sensitive and susceptible it is to elevated blood pressure. High blood pressure is a leading cause of kidney disease. Regularly monitor your blood pressure and take steps to keep it within a healthy range by exercising regularly and eating a diet based on unprocessed whole foods. Tip number two, reduce your blood sugar by reducing your carbohydrate intake and doing intermittent fasting. These tips come from Dr. Eric Berg. He explains that diabetes is a significant risk factor for kidney disease. Tip number three, avoid foods that damage your kidneys. There's plenty of foods and compounds that straight up damage your kidneys and increase your risk for kidney disease. We have a whole video on that, so go check it out in the description. Tip number four, avoid overuse of over-the-counter painkillers. Long-term and excessive use of certain over-the-counter pain relievers, such as ibuprofen, naproxen, aspirin, or other non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs can contribute to kidney damage. Use these medications cautiously and as directed, especially if you have pre-existing kidney conditions. Tip number five, stay hydrated. Adequate water intake is essential for kidney health according to recent research. Drinking enough water helps flush out toxins and waste products from the kidneys, reducing the risk of kidney stones and other complications. Aim to drink about eight glasses, 64 ounces of water per day. Additionally, it's crucial to attend regular checkups with your healthcare provider to monitor your overall health and assess kidney function. I hope you found some value in this video. If so, please subscribe to our channel. It's free and takes you two seconds clicking that button down there. Go watch the video on your screen about the worst foods for your kidney health now. I see you there.